Hi, and welcome to Our Small Table. Today we're making coconut lime, chicken and snow peas, a nice dinner salad because sometimes over the holidays we eat too heavily and we'd like something a little lighter come the new year. Here's our finished dish. Let's see how we got here. The oven is preheating to 400 degrees. So we will start with our coconut milk. We'll add the lime to the coconut and mix it all up. And no, I'm not even sorry about that comment. And our brown sugar. And the salt. And once we've got it all whisked together, Try to get some of that sugar and salt dissolved a little bit. And we'll place the chicken tenders into it. Hopefully this will be a large enough dish so it won't overflow. I might have to transfer to a larger dish, but we'll see. Looks like I'm just barely going to make it if I'm careful putting this into the oven. And this is going to bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes until the chicken is cooked through. I've got another step before that, so we'll clear some things up and be right back. While the chicken is cooking, you want to combine your shredded lettuce with the shredded cabbage, the sliced snow peas. To slice the snow pea, you just want to cut off those tough ends, remove the string if there is one. Some snow peas are stringless. And then julienne them. And minced onion. You can also add cilantro here. I'm in a household that doesn't particularly care for cilantro, so I generally leave it out unless it's really necessary or if it's being cooked, but raw cilantro we very rarely use. And then just toss to combine. And I'm going to have to get really in here with my hands to keep from making a mess, so I will get it properly tossed off camera. And then we'll transfer this between two different plates, and we'll be right back. Our cooking liquid is our dressing for this salad. So you just want to slice up the chicken nice and thin. And as always, I'm doing one plate. I'm not doing both plates on camera. And so add, this is about half the chicken. And you want to add it to the salad. And then drizzle with a little bit of the cooking liquid and that's all there is to it. Thanks for joining me today at Our Small Table. The recipe we've used is linked in the video description and is available at OurSmallTable.com. Click subscribe so you don't miss our next video.